Hello! In this tutorial I want to show you a very cool effect in SDL uh, the particle engine. The particle engine is uh, mean that you have a lot of little particle which can be a pixel like we will use, it can be a little it can be little images and there are a lot of them, for example thousands of them, and it could give the effect like fire or uh, you know things like that and smoke and things like that. So I just quickly uh, started a particle engine right here. It is a little bigger than the sc uh, usual screen. It is 124 by 768. Uh, as you can see, it's I think it's kind of cool effect. Uh, but that's not all what you can do with it. Some la warp light effect. But you can do with it li like fire or something like I saw this other tutorial basically it's almost the same as the other one except I changed a little bit so just a few lines of change as you can see it is almost like a fire okay not too good fire but you know it's kind of do it okay and as you can see I add movement to it so you can do meteor or something with it so I think it's kind of cool do you? Okay, so let's get started with making it. As you can see, I've already set up the basic uh, uh, basic shell of the program. As usual, just initialize, set the screen. The one, uh, one thing that I think I should mention is that it's 8 bit per pixel. Uh, you remember I from the uh, put pixel tutorial, so the pixel manipulation tutorial, that it is, mu uh, it is a bit easier. So it is easier with a division by using 8 bit per pixel and anyway we don't want so many color 256 should be enough. Okay, we have a uh, running through uh, so yeah, I don't want to go through every line. You should already know uh, this from the earlier tutorial. So, we need actually two class. Uh not as usual, I will make both class to I to here so the cpp file i not want to make now a lot of uh, uh, two header files and two cpp files and then a main file so yes i just want to keep it simple these are very simple class so, so yeah very basic class classes so yeah that's it uh, let's get started first of all we need a particle class oh so particle this will uh, just store one particle. A particle has different properties like x, y, x, x velocity, y velocity, and so on. So, uh, the x, y, x velocity, and y velocity will be float because uh, we want that. Uh, so, uh, because we want it a little smoother, mover, because if it is whole number, as I will show you. It will. It cannot go uh, somewhere. No. Okay. Basically, not. That's for now. I will show you later. Okay. We need a U in 32. Uh, oh, nope. Just the end time. We need the end time. Uh, this is the current time plus uh, that plus we will uh, generate a random number for the end time. Okay. And then we need a color. You Although the uh, so the second tutorial you saw that we uh, that I can uh, use uh, different colors as you saw on the fire I use some oranges and reddish color so color okay basically that's about the variables so now go to the public function like the constructor which will be a particle obviously and it's with a float x a float oh make it capital so uh, it is easier to see that the uh, small x is this x and the capital x is the parameter we need a float y, we need a float x well and we need a float y well uh, and we need a call uh, we need a integer uh, life this, this is how much that will the particle will leave in milliseconds basically every particle will create it and then go to some direction which is which is uh, 
the x and the y, which is uh, the uh, represent the x well and the y well. It has a coordinate. Uh, in this case, these are the starting coordinates, and it leaves some times in milliseconds. So, for example, if I give 1,000 uh, to leave, then the particle will go 1,000 and then disappear. Okay, that's why it seems in the animation. So, in here, that there are much more particle in this part than particle in this outer part because the particle are just uh, die basically uh, outer okay and then and we need a last thing a color okay basically the color could be uh, so the color could be random as well uh, and I can show you that Okay, I will show you when uh, I ma make it because, uh, yeah, a little problem with the source file. Yeah, basically I don't have it, but don't worry about that. So make the next uh, uh, function. This will basically the move and then another function uh, show. This will just show the pixel on the rounded x and rounded y coordinate. Rounded because it is a float and we need an integer to show it. Okay, and we need one more. This is the is dead function. This will return that if a particle is dead. So uh, there could be two possibilities th when the particle is dead. One, if the current time is greater than the greater or equal than the end time. The other, if the particle goes out from the screen. And that is that will return true if uh, if that. Okay, so start to make these functions and so particle, particle, and I just copied because uh, I'm a little lazy. Okay, copy and paste as usually. Okay, and just make x equal to capital x, y equal to capital y. Mm. Uh, X well equal to capital X well, Y well equals to capital Y well, and uh, make life oh not life end time end time equal to SDL get ticks so the current time plus the life so how m uh, so how much milliseconds sh should it live? And finally, we set the color equal to capital color. Okay, basically that was it. The constructor pretty simple and straightforward. Okay, now the move function void particle move. The move function is pretty simple and straightforward. So x plus equal to x val, y plus equal to y val. And we n that is not enough because we need to check that is it outside of the screen. Because if it is outside of, of the screen, we want to achieve a memory address which is not uh, contain a pixel, which is not uh, uh, which is uh, not for our program, and that will give segmentation failure. So we need to check it. So if x less uh, than zero, then make the x equal to zero. If y uh, less than zero, make y equal to zero. Pretty simple, right? So if it is outside of the screen, we just push it back to be inside the screen or somehow on the edge. Although it will not, although it will just for one cycle, because the next cycle the uh, particle will be deleted and create a new one. Okay, so if x greater than SDL get video surface, so basically the screen, and we get the width to it. So if it is greater than the width, then set it back. So x equal to SDL get video surface uh, width, and actually we use minus one because you know we start from zero and minus one will be inside the screen in one pixel okay so if y 
is uh, basically the same thing except it with the height so height then we do the same thing y equal to this uh, and uh, height okay that was the move function pretty simple and straightforward we just move the object with the speed so the velocity and we check that is it inside the screen or not yes if it is outside of the screen we just set it back to the screen basically that's what we do okay the next thing will be the show so particle show function the show function is pretty much the same as the put uh, uh, put pixel function in the earlier tutorial so first of all we need to get the address of the pixels so you need eight uh, pixels this is an array of pixels which is u int 8 format and this is the sdl get video surface and we get the pixels from this um, so the surface okay and now we need to get the uh, a pixel we want so u int 8 pixel so the pixel will be the pixels plus uh, the uh, so the pixels plus j times the uh, sdl get video surface pitch so basically have wide is the screen and we add the x to it so if you don't understand this may you may want to go back to the pixel manipulation tutorial so we uh, add the x x to it okay now we have the cur uh, the pixel which we want to change so make the pixel mm -hmm. so what the pixel is point to and change it to color basically that's it okay and that's about the entire oh the if that function is the last one and that's about the particle class so particle is that okay so we return and we return a boolean and as you may know an ex expression can be a boolean as well so uh, so we return we the uh, uh, sdl get x greater or equal than uh, end time so if if it, the current time is greater than the end time so when the particle should dead we return with true uh, or the or x less the uh, or x equal to zero or y equal to zero or x equal to sdl get video surface uh, so sdl get video surface with minus one or y equal to sdl get video surface and height minus one okay uh, very simple and straightforward so this expression in the parentheses will return true if if one of them is happened because we use the uh, uh, so the or operation as it will return with false okay basically uh, that's it I think I doesn't screw up in here uh, anything so we can go on by actually make the particle engine this is just represents one particle we will be thousands we will use thousands of particle not just one so we need to create the actual particle uh, particle engine okay so void particle oh what am I doing what am I doing okay sorry about that so class particle engine I call it particle engine it's um, a long name so yeah long name uh, probably should make a little bit uh, uh, so less uh, you know long all right so a particle engine has a vector oh by the way we have to include the vector because you know we need the vector so we include the vector and now we can use the vector I think we don't need any more uh, uh, header file so we can continue the program